actually this trial was a public trial, so anyone could attend. Uh, and it was attended with quite a big media attendance on the first few days of the hearings and also at the last few days. But the trial took nearly three years and it was 167 days of hearings and uh, on the majority of the trials there was no any media attention. I was there only with, with my crew because it was an early marathon trial, 167 days of hearings, eight days a week, eight hours a week. So we shot continuously, we have more than 2,000 hours of footages. There was um, not too big uh, empathy in the society, at least that was my, my feeling, and there was not a, too big attention as well. So the Hungarian society was quite uh, neglectant with the issue. Because uh, unfortunately in Hungary, but also in the neighboring countries, in the Eastern European regions, Heat crime against Roma uh, community is so regular and it's happening so often that it just doesn't reach the um, level of attention of the society. And also when the uh, victims are just Roma, the people are, don't care so much. I think it, it does a lot about uh, not facing the past, not facing the um, responsibility of the majority during the Second World War and, and so far during the socialist era. It does a lot about uh, the still existing taboos of, of the socialist regime, regime and it does about the lack of democracy. Because of course there are hate crimes everywhere in the world, in the US, but immediately when there is a hate crime there is a very big civil opposition and a civil uh, demonstration against hate crime. So these things exist parallel there when there is a, the society is more democratic. But uh, in our societies, in the Eastern European societies, uh, we have the hate crimes in the one hand, and on the other hand, there is no any resistance from the side of the civil society. To realize for me that there is a very thin line between being a perpetrator and just between having racist thoughts. So, of course, it's much worse when someone uh, do a racist killing, of course it, it, it's, it's the end of the scale, but even if we have racist ideas or prejudiced ideas, this is the beginning step and it leads towards a genocide. So everybody has his or her, own, own, his or her responsibility not to be a bystander in these crimes. Defendants, they never admitted that they were killing anybody. They admitted that they were there at the location, but they thought that they didn't kill anybody. So consequently, they couldn't say that they regret anything. On the other hand, uh, it, it's very usual in Hungary, maybe here as well, I don't know, that uh, extreme right organizations uh, try to have a self-defense when there is a trial case on the basis of the human rights and they, they are going to contact human rights organizations in their def defense. Which of course every person has the right to for self-defense in front of the court. So. The judge, uh, first of all, he has a very interesting and charismatic uh, uh, personality. Without him, the movie would be totally different. And uh, 
I just think that he must have a very terribly difficult job because uh, he'd had huge fights with the defendants and also there was a very big pressure from everywhere in the Hungarian society. So it was a famous case. And also I think he was very much alone during the war process. And to be a judge in a case like that, it's not a very safe position. Uh, for example, in Czech Republic, a judge a few years ago in Ostrava was killed before he made a verdict in a neo-Nazi case, in a, in a case which was a hate crime against Roma family. So he, I think he had a very difficult time, but of course I think this is something which is somehow the top of his career. You know, in Hungary and also in the region, I think to be uh, rude and not empathetic with Roma is the normal, it's the standard. So of course everybody behaves like that. It, it's terrible and, and it's very usual in criminal cases when Roma, go to, Roma people go to the court, go to the court as victims, at the end they are getting up blamed. It's very, it's everyday phenomena in Hungary, Romania, Czech Republic, Slovakia, so it's, this is the normal standard thing, unfortunately.